In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of drawing the rocker cam, and I'm going to follow the steps according to your module handout. I know many of you have struggled with this, so uh, watch the video and hopefully this will make it easier for you. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to draw uh, an ellipse uh, 16 inches wide by 8 and a half inches. So I'll start the ellipse command and I'll stretch out the diameter, make it 16, and then the radius of the height is 4.25. The next step is to draw a series of construction lines. Uh, these will be drawn from the quadrant of each um, side, and I'm going to put these on the construction layer. The next step is to draw the two seven and a half inch circles. So we'll start the circle command and draw those with a radius of 7.5. And then to clean things up, we're going to use the trim command uh, just to reduce the clutter on the screen. Okay, let's continue by using the offset command to locate the um, centers for the uh, circles on the rocker cam. So I'm going to start the offset command, set my distance to 5, offset the vertical line to the right, 5 units, repeat the command, change my distance to 4, and offset the vertical line 4 inches to the left. Then to locate the other offsets, we'll restart the offset command, set the distance to 1, and I'm going to offset the center line up 1 unit and down 1 unit. There is a circle that's going to be located a half of an inch below this line, so we need to offset the horizontal line again a half of an inch. And like we did before, I'm going to use the trim command just to remove some of these lines to help reduce the clutter and this is just to aid in visualizing where these circles are drawn. Okay, Now that those are cleaned up, let's start the circle command and we'll go to this intersection. So we need to turn on the intersection object snap. Snap to that intersection and we're going to draw a circle with a diameter of 1 in both places. Then we'll draw a circle with a diameter of 2 in the same spots. So we'll get those four circles drawn. Then over here we have a four and a half inch circle. So we'll start the diameter the circle command and we'll set the diameter to 4.5. Okay. Then we need to add a few fillets. So according to our drawing we need to set our fillet to 0.75. So we'll start the fillet command, set the radius to 0.75, and add a fillet between this arc and the circle. Repeat the process for the bottom arc. And over here we have some smaller fillets, so we need to set the fillet to 0.25. So we'll add a fillet between this arc and this line. Let me reset that fillet. It didn't take. So we'll pick the arc and the circle, the, the arc and the circle, and then that will give us the, the fillets that we need. There is a vertical line that we need to draw between this quadrant and this quadrant, and then we can trim out uh, the circle these two circles need to be removed. So we'll go to Trim, zoom in and pick the arc, the line, and the arc as my cutting edges, and then pick the larger circles. Okay. The last step is we need to draw a polygon uh, inside of the circle with the radius of 1.3. So we'll start the uh, polygon command uh, it will prompt us for the number of sides. Uh, we need six sides. Pick the center point 
and we have to use the circumscribe method. So I'm going to select circumscribed and it's going to prompt us for the uh, radius and the radius is 1.3. Okay. So it places the um, polygon on, this, on the um, circle. Now we need to rotate it uh, 15 degrees from the vertical. So we'll select this, click on rotate, pick the center point and let's enter negative 15. And that will add the polygon to the rocker cam. And believe it or not, that finishes up the rocker cam other than adding the center lines.